you must not allow anyone kill love in you. Don't allow anyone to kill love. You must never hate. The number one virtue of a true Christian is love. Any Christian that does not love does not know God. Christianity is in the scriptures. We studied it last week Sunday. Then in the second service last week I said, do not allow anyone kill in your, uh, your investment in the kingdom. That every one of us must have something we are doing in the kingdom of God. I go to Nisheta and she, because a time will definitely come that you will need what you have been doing in the kingdom to speak for you. Hallelujah. Then in the first service today, we talk about do not allow anyone to kill your trust in God. Your trust in God. We talked about what it means to trust God. We talk about how to develop trust in God. And we also talked about how the devil intends to kill your, your trust in God. You can go back to those messages. Then in this service today, uh, we are looking at do not allow anyone kill your work attitude. Please take note. This is a school. It's a church where believers are raised. And for you to be a balanced Christian, you must be balanced spiritually. You must be balanced in your soul. And you must be balanced in your body. So this one has to do with work. Do not allow anyone kill your work attitude. That's what we are looking at this morning. Mashi jeki ene keni kokpa ithara to ni fun ishe ben. Mashi jeki ene keni shashi yori atakpa. And you know the word, the reason why I use the word anyone, I told us last week Sunday, the devil is a spirit. He does not have a physical body. But he will continue to use humans. Ewa, please help me change Adam's. Come and change Adam's seat. Now, he will continue to use humans to fight humans. He uses human to fight humans. And there are things that people do that will kill certain things in a person's life. So let's start the teaching this morning. Hallelujah. Talk to me, hallelujah. Whoever succeeds to kill your work attitude will succeed to turn you into a poor person. Anyone that succeeds to kill your attitude to work will succeed to turn you into a poor person. Now, a poor person that we always depend, that we always depend on others, you know, or wait for luck. You know, there are people like that. They are always waiting for somebody to give them something. This is 2023. I want you to change your mindset. Every message I've preached from January, from first Sunday till now, I can be telling you the topic one after the other because there are principles you need to excel this year. So this is not the year that you will live on people. That This is not the year. This is not the year that you are going to be living on luck. You know, on kalo kalo. No, 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 no. This is the year that you must put your hands to work. You must do what? You must put your hands to work. Because listen, work is the only point, the only place where success can be truly guaranteed. Now, let's go to the scriptures. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15. Our first scripture this morning shows us, ever before God gave man wife, God gave man a job. Now, the first thing God gave man after he created man was to give man work. Now, we'll read it from NIV and now we're going to read it from message. Look at this. The Bible says, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to do what? To work it. And to care of, of it. To take care of it. The Lord God took him. After he had created the garden. And he finished creating man. The first thing God gave to man was not a wife. He didn't give him wife first. The first thing that God gave to the living man is work. Everybody say work. That's what the first thing God gave to man. If work is not important, God will not make it number one. That's why any Christian, no matter how fireful you are, if you don't have work, you have closed your door to prosperity. No matter how tongue-speaking you are, no matter how, uh, uh, how many titles you occupy in the church, if you don't have work, you have closed your door 
into the realm of prosperity. Because today we see so many people in prayer meetings in the morning, on Monday morning, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. You see people in church for praying for three hours. I used to ask, God didn't give Adam prayer first. The first thing he gave to man, look at it. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden. He put him there, if he said no share of Eden, to work it and to take care of it. Adam, if you don't work this field, there is no how you will eat. So if you are here, if you are up to the age and they are feeding you, you refuse to work, they are destroying your life. Anybody that is feeding an adult that refuses to work is destroying that adult's life. See, I hear. And listen, even your children, too, as small as they are, their own work is the school, the education that you have put them into. You must allow them to work. You must allow them to work, to work. when they get to a certain age in life. For instance, in nursery 2, we know that they still play in nursery 1. But when they get to nursery 2, they will need to do their assignment with little guidance. What I call it, little guidance from nursery 2. Little guidance. You tell him, go and carry his book. Don't let him say, mommy, 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 two plus two. What is the answer? And maybe because you are busy watching Z World, you don't want him to destroy. Write four. The next one, mommy, three plus three, write six. You are destroying him. The first thing God gave to man, everybody say it together is what? Work. Now let's go deeper. Let's look at God himself. Hallelujah. In John chapter 5, 17 to 20. <coughs> Thank you. John chapter 5 from verse 17 to verse 20. John chapter 5. Put it on screen. From verse 17 to verse 20. We are still confirming the issue of work. Work, work, work. But Jesus defended himself. He says, look at what Jesus said. He said, my father is what? I didn't hear you. My father is what? Uh -uh. It's like some people decide not to see this part of the scripture. My father is what? Is my father begging? No. Is my father sleeping? No. He's talking about God himself. Jesus defended himself. Saying, my father is walking. Baba, me, she share. Straight through. Even on the Sabbath. Uh -uh. So I am. If my father is walking, even on, on, on to Sabbath day, he says, so I am. Me too, I'm walking. My father cannot be walking and I'm sleeping. You know, we have some people, some of you, some people get, got this uh, uh, joblessness or lazy spirit from. Some of you inherit, inherited it. So look at God himself. God is not a lazy God. Our father is not a sleeping God. Our father is a working God. Let's read on. We'll stop at verse 20. Jesus defended himself. My father is walking straight through. Even on the Sabbath, so I am. Verse 18. But Jesus defended him. Okay, we have taken it that. That really set them off. The Jews were now not only out to expose him. They were out to kill him. Not only was, the breaking, was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was calling God his own father. Putting himself on a level with God. They were angry at what he was saying. So Jesus explained himself at length. I'm telling you this straight. The son can't independently do a thing. Only what he sees the father doing. What the father does, the son also what does. The father have seen me walking. I myself have seen the father walking. I must work. So this year, 2023, if you are working, don't see it as you are under a curse. Mama, that is the gateway to wealth. If people walk the way they pray, I'm telling you they will succeed. I come again. If people work the way they pray, they will succeed. So Jesus explained himself. Now read verse 20. Let's read verse 20 and finish it so that we can go into my message. Verse 20. The, next, the last verse now. Verse 20. Verse 20. The father loves the son and includes him in everything he's doing. But you haven't seen the half of it yet. Now the summary of what I'm showing us is that even God himself is walking. Jesus himself is working, and if God is working, Jesus is working, and you are not working, you are not related to him then. Now, what is work? Work is doing specific tasks by employing physical and mental power. You know why I had to bring this down from the dictionary? 
I want to explain what work is. Work is when you involve mental and physical power in order to achieve a task. Now, some people's work, they use physical strength to do it. Some people's work, they use mental strength. Hello? They are reasoning. That's why when you see that manager in the office, he may not be in the marketing department. He may not be among the security department. Somebody will say, ah, look at that man. He's just sitting in his office. He's not doing anything. He's doing something. The only thing that his own work, he uses mental strength to do it. He's the one that will receive the bulk of the task from the headquarters. He's the one that will sit down to device. I want to see one target can reach five billion. How do we do it? He's the one that we now call the marketing department. Put the, you know, am I communicating? Work is when you involve mental or physical strength in order to attain specific task. Everybody must work. So this year, you must not allow anything to kill your attitude to work. This year, you know, there are several proverbs that they tell you that are wrong. So then we tell you, ah, omitie daba mamu, the water that a man is going to drink, will not overflow across him. Konisho kojai. It's a lie. These are uh, proverbs of lazy people. So then we even tell you, ah, ah, man will let it's all right. Don't disturb yourself. Everything that a man is going to become has been prepared for him from heaven. So it's a lie. A lie from the pit of hell. It's a proverb that is being brought to make people lazy. Hear me, you cannot become anything you don't work at. Anything. That's why you see some people have dreams. They didn't get there. You know why they didn't get there? They didn't get there because they didn't work it. Hallelujah. Now let's go deeper. Truths about work you should know. Truths about work you should know. Number one, it is the will of God for you to work. That's the first truth. It is the will of God. If you are alone, it is the will of God. Stop seeing work as a curse. Anybody that is telling you that ah, ah, God doesn't want you to work, that person, like I said at the beginning, have decided to render you poor. It is the will of God that you should work. Of recent, I notice now, when I stand outside the church, you see some little, little children. Small, small children. 10 years old. 11 years old. 12 years old. They will stand in front of the gate. Ah, money, daddy. Daddy. I ask one of them one day, where are your parents? I will be in call. And daddy, I won't see. Now, you know what? I now said to him, come inside the church. Come and gather this waste. Sweep this place. Let me pay you. Before I will turn like this and thumb back, he had gone. Money, listen, was never programmed by God to come by luck. You work for it. If anybody is giving you free money, that person is killing you. Don't see work as a cause. Work is the will of God. That's why I showed you here that God himself is working. The father, verse, show us verse 17. The father himself is working up to now. And I want us to read it from the King James Version. Verse 17. From the King James Version. But Jesus answered them, my father has been working until now. So the first truth you should see about work is that it is the will of God for you to work. That's why if you are not working, begin to ask yourself, what is wrong? What is wrong? Something is wrong with me. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. If you are not working, you are not in the will of God. I read in the Bible, Liban. Uh, what is in Jacob? He got to the house of Liban, his uncle. His uncle was a rich man. Wealthy, popular man. But as Jacob entered the house. The first thing he said, he said, Uncle, I see your daughter and I love her. But please, sir, can I work for you for seven years? After seven years, the payment of seven years, 
use it as what? As dowry for your daughter. You see, if you have work, there's nothing you cannot achieve. You can work and buy a car. You can't work and buy a car. Hello? You didn't hear me. You can work and buy a car. It is beggars that don't have choice. If you are working, you have choice. You know, you can walk to a point and say, yes, I want Lexus um, Jeep of um, um, 2023 model. You can afford it. But a beggar, if he goes there, he says, wah, 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 moto, the car that I want to give out is my old Beatles. Will you, do you want that or you get out? So the first truth you must see, establish that in your heart. It is the will of God for you to work. Stop thinking that God is against work. God gave Adam work. Let's see number two. Second truth you must know about work. Work is one of the surest way to become wealthy. Hmm. Work is one of the surest way to become wealthy. Now, to ban shishe la ra o no to ti ti to to ta le fi deni gigani. It's one of the surest way. Now, let's go through the story of Joseph now. Joseph entered the land of Egypt as what? As an ordinary slave. You know, they sold him. The Ishmaelites bought him. After they bought him, they now sold him to Potiphar. As Potiphar bought him, he brought him as an ordinary slave in the house. Then Joseph started working. As he was working from one place to another, eventually he became the most senior servant at home. One day when Madame faced him, Madame said, I love you, you this young man. He said, ma, there is nothing in this house that is not under my care except you. Can you see? He grew from ordinary slave to become, to become what? The most valuable slave in the old house. Work is the surest way to wealth. You know, in Africa, they have taught us so many things about miracles that we now believe that everything will just happen suddenly. Compare Nigeria or the Africans with China. After the first service, I went into my office. I wanted to put my head on the table and I saw one junction box. I look at the back, made in China. Kosi, Kosi, China, Otishi. Kosi, China was a very poor nation. After the, uh, the, that, that bomb blast that happened during the uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima war, that atomic bomb that was thrown into China, do you remember if you, read, if you did history? China became a very poor country. Nothing was working. Because that atomic bomb that was thrown wiped away two, two, two towns of China. So everybody was poor. But I love what the Chinese did. It got to a point in their life, their president declared, we are no longer going to import anything into this nation. Please put your phone down and listen to me. We are not going to import anything into this nation again. You know, that's part of what I'm saying. Preaching is on. You are watching your phone. Nigerians are lazy. Especially our youths. Now, what you are watching, will it add to your life? Does it increase your account? Listen to what will change your life and change your destiny. Do you know how much you spend on data? Some of you don't know how much you spend. Just calculate in a month and see how much you spend. And if you put that, month, that amount in business, you know how much, what is going on. Now, back to what I'm saying. Do you know that the Chinese now decided they shut down. They decided we are not going to import anything into our nation again. Whatsoever we need, we will produce. Whatsoever we need, we will produce. Whatsoever we need, we will produce. Do you know that today, the Chinese are competing with the entire world? Today. There is nothing you show them in China they won't produce. Work is the surest way to wealth. See, I hear Help me preach to your neighbor. Say prayer is not the surest way to wealth. Work is the way. So when you pray, you work. If you are with me, say amen. amen. If you're angry, to say amen. Thank you for being angry. Number three. Listen. Listen to number three. Every work has its own challenge. Stop thinking you will eventually find a simple work. Let me come again. Every work has its own challenge. 
Stop thinking you will eventually find a simple work. You know, that's what some people are doing. They feel that, ah, this one is too hard. This one is too hard. I will leave this work. Let me go and look for another one. Ah, this one is too hard. This one is too hard. I will leave this one. Go and do another one. This one is too hard. This, there is no work that does not have its own challenge. If you think that the job of a pastor is simple, come. I will give you a case. Go and pray for some demonic man, uh, possessed people. You will see what the seven sons of Sceva saw. The demon in that man possessed the man and beat them up like mad. Or you are saying, okay, you are a pastor. Yes, I know that your job is difficult, but the job of a doctor is easy. It is not. My doctor friend, you know, he was operating somebody and he was sleeping. When they asked him, he said, three days, sir, I have not closed my eyes. And while he was operating somebody, he collapsed. They had to carry doctor out of the theater. Tobajo Mosi is in the NT1 operating one new Guyato Badiben. Ure doctor ni. Kisho Gure doctor ni. Anna, why ye ah, if you thought it's your operator, I want ya want to bang with the bed. Ah. The doctor said, when they carry him out, his other doctors continued. He just went to sleep. And after some time, he regained strength. There is no job that is simple. Oh, you are saying, Pastor, you don't understand. That one is nice. Uh, the, jobs of, uh, the job of engineers is very simple. Is it simple? I remember when I followed you, we were doing certain out of our church. They, were, they told me to go and sit down. I refused to sit down. I said, I would don't worry. Let's do it. He said, okay, okay, okay. They didn't send me anything. No. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, draw it this way. I followed them this way. Draw it that way. They followed the other way. Draw it this way. They were trying to do the setting out of the church. Do you know that I came back with malaria? My head was, because the sun was terrible. Because she to to run. In your man develop interest, she she to run. She to run. She had to run. She to run. She had to run. She had to run. She had to run. She had to run. Ibo le expensive si enti ma jade. Elomi ani ah, pastor you don't understand. I want to run jemu lansin. I want to run school. Show rupo easy la ti run school ni. It's not easy to run school. I'm there too. When you are trying to balance expenses, teacher's salary, other expenses is there. And you you are looking at the pupils, you are looking at your expenses. Then apart from that, those pupils must understand what you are teaching them. They brought a child to me this week <coughs> from one school. Four year old cannot write one to five. And the person that brought it said, Daddy, my mom recommend your mom. At the moment, they come and bonnie school into the people that they can contain if you call one shekel. You are. Mobamu, you will form my no. Right. He didn't know what to write. I said, When will this child be five? He said, In October this year. Ah, could they call one to five? So I call one of my best teachers. I'm giving you a task. This child must write one to two hundred before the end of this term. What do we do? They say, sir, let's take him to let's take this child back to pre nursery. Let's go back to the business. From pre nursery, let her be in pre, let her be in pre nursery for three weeks. After three weeks, let her come back to nursery one. Then let her finish this term with nursery one. Then by next term, sir, we'll try to match her with our new class. Do you know how many hours they stand? And the tips of their, one of my sons came, uh, you know, during the week, all the way from Mundo, and he said, sir, I'm into palm oil business now. Uh, the business is this, is that. He said, but sir, I will be coming. I said, 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 I will be coming. to run I will be coming. Eban preached when to a leg bear. To ban why she to run. Okay, you know here in Yoruba. See, if you are looking for simple work, it's a sign that you don't want to work at all. That's one of the truths you should know. Or you are saying, okay, the military man's job is simple. Have you ever asked me? 
He is in the civil defense. They are the ones that try to catch those people that uh, are breaking pipelines. They can kill them at any time. There is no job that is simple. Understand it clearly. You must settle that in your mind. Every work has its own challenge. Stop thinking you will eventually find a simple work. You know what you should do? I put it in bracket. Develop love for your work. Develop love for your work. I read, I read Richard Templar's book on the rule of work uh, last week when I was in the office. And in, uh, in uh, uh, the 38th rule of work, he said, any work you do not enjoy cannot prosper you. He says, it's not that the job is simple, but you have to just develop love in doing it. Anytime I'm with microphone, if you say I'm happy, wow, I love my work. I'm proud to be a pastor. But it does not make it easy. Because we can't sleep like you. We can't eat like you. We can't go everywhere you are going. Because we know that we are, all, we are always a target. So no work is easy. All our students that are here, I know you are saying your parents' work are easy. My children used to say so too. Daddy, when I grew up like you, I remember one day I gave chicken to my children. We, were, we killed chicken, so I gave them their portions. Ah, one of them said, Daddy, no. By the time I grow up, I will kill chicken, the full chicken, and I will eat it alone. I said I said that when I was young. Because your own, you, we caught it. In our days, my daddy from his mouth. So I'll be saying, mm, one day I will grow up. When I grow up, it's a whole cow I will buy. I will kill a whole cow. Only me will finish it. Ah. There is no job that is simple. Just develop love for your work. Tell three people again, say develop job, love for your work. <coughs> three, three people. Now, do you know that something happened in my house? Like, you, you let, learn from it. We were at home. And my wife saw something. I said on the wall, Daddy, when he killed that cockroach, so I killed it. I used my leg to kill it. And my children said, you are the man. <laughs> and my son, nine-year-old, said, Daddy, you are the man. But I don't want to be the man. Ah. My wife said, you are a man. He said, no, I don't want to be the man. His sister said, you are the man. He said, no, I don't want to be the man. So I told him, I said, wait, let's ask him why. Why don't you want to be the man? He said, I want to be the woman. I say, why? He said, because everything that mommy is eating, it is daddy that is buying it. <laughs> I see how daddy is buying things and she's eating it. I now turn to him. I say, is that why you want to be a woman? He said, yes. <laughs> so that somebody will be buying for me too. But can I tell you the truth? The job of a woman is not easy. Is it easy to be pregnant? Nine months? Push at labor room? Ah, sir? Kudos to them. Koizi. I was there when my wife was laboring. Koizi. She was crying and I saw blood. I saw water. I was asking, she ain't going to go through that to be money. If not that she asked for second child, Amy already has to be mama. But she can't wait. They are the one that will later ask. Let's have another child. Have you forgotten? So no job is easy. Say no job is easy. You just have to develop love. Now let's now go to the message. Let's look at the devil's strategy to kill work attitude. You know, the devil wants to kill work, work attitude. He has strategy in doing it. Let's, work, let's listen. So that we can know. Because I've shown you now that if you don't have work, forget about prosperity. Let's see the devil's attitude to kill work attitude. I'll take three out of four. Number one. He will position people who made money by diabolic means in places where you can, where young people will see them. Please take note of my words. He will position people who made money by diabolic means in places where young people will see them. 
Now, and you know, that's the problem we have in our nation today. The Yahoo guys are on internet. The fraudulent guys are everywhere. Whenever the devil is showing you people who did ritual money, you know what he's trying to tell you? He's trying to show you that work doesn't pay. Anything you see the devil do, he's doing it deliberately to kill something. I wrote here, he uses this as a way of making them despise the principle of work. That's what the devil wants to do to our young generation. You know, as this phone is a blessing, this phone has become a trap to our young, younger ones. That's why you see that young people now don't want to work again. He said, come on, see. Can you see e-money? See money? Can you come money? See them? Can I tell you this truth? If somebody truly work for his money, sweats to get his money, he won't be spraying it in parties. I can tell you of the truth. Somebody work for the money. Le I'm talking about legitimate job. I'm not saying he went to carry cocaine and came back. He swallowed something, went and came back and, and made 10 billion. No, he worked to build wealth. You won't see that kind of a person come to spray 10 million in a party. I bet you how many nights there she needs. She nights, don't cross the day. That's the problem with our youths today. That's why our youths don't want to work. You know, we have businesses that we do. 90% of the people we employ have stolen from us. 90% of people we employ have stolen from us. Why? People are beginning to lose value for work. And do you know why? It's because of the things they are saying. Somebody was saying on internet, Kimbati Lula Rocking Kulos on your mind. And he said, Kimi no shati lowo. But who even told you that you can't be rich without me, without uh, uh, by, by work? Who told you that you cannot be rich by work? You can be rich by work. I told my pastor friends, some of them that are trying to put their hands into so many things. I always tell them, I said, tell me. What do you people have that God has not given me? It may not be as big as you think. But I always tell them, can you sleep in two rooms at the same time? Can you ride two cars at the same time? Anytime the devil shows you people that got well, wealthy by diabolic means, you know what he wants to do? He wants to show you that work has no value. That gave birth. But see after me, I refuse to follow their pattern. You can do better. See, I refuse to follow their pattern. I will work. Say, buddy, I will work. I will work. Listen, it is important you know that anything that does not follow the will of God does not last. Anything that does not follow the will of God, that does not follow the proper process, it won't last. I can keep mentioning names, but you know we are online. People who went into diabolic means to get wealthy, did they last? They didn't last. Some of them, it took their children from them. Some of them, it took their health from them. Some, it took their life from them. But sir, there is nothing as sweet as you becoming wealthy without having secrets. You'll be free. That's why our youth, I beg you, follow the principle of work. I brought some videos home. My wife showed us one. I showed my children one. This lady said, he was, I needed money. I just needed money. So somebody introduced me to a guy. And that night, I just visited him. He didn't do anything with me. He just credited my account with half a million. And I said, this guy is good, though. He credited my account. We have, see, anybody that work eh, and work hard to get money won't give you half a million. 
just like that. Let's, let's be realistic. Because all this one that you say, Holy Ojichi, Holy Ojichi, Holy Ojichi. Eh. Hmm. I can feel me could be a law. O she shall lagoon. O college, the old lajo, the junior collector, to put your girlfriend for transfer five hundred thousand. See, only be too low. Do you know that the following time they met, he slept with her and created this account with one million? The girl was happy. She started urinating maggot. As I'm talking to you now, that girl has died. They tried to look for the address of the young man. She said from that day, his number wasn't going again. Work. When you work, you'll be proud of your earning. That's why if I want to eat pepper soup, I eat it with joy. Because I work for it. Number two, there's no time. <clears throat> Here at times, place his agents. Look at another strategy of devil. He at times place his agents as head of certain systems to give the less qualified opportunities and deny the qualified in order to discourage you. I'll come again. He at times place his agents as head as head over certain systems to give the less qualified opportunity and deny the qualified. You know why they are doing this? They want to water your work attitude. For instance, let me explain and bring it uh, uh, to our understanding. Imagine you, to, you, you, you have good grade and somebody now you apply for a job and somebody who, who does not know anything but because he knows somebody inside you know what the devil does? He will plant them. And you'll be shocked that this person is not as qualified as I am. This person does not even know what I know. This person has been given the job. Why? You know what the why the devil is doing that? He wants to make you feel that being qualified is not important. Now, and he will now misinterpret a scripture and tell you, Kira Kita Odola. Kashi Shebi Eru Dankum. Ibuhulu Alo Shekini, Lungbe Niga. But, sir, sir, if you go back to the Bible, the Bible says there was not a person found that was equal to Daniel and his friends in intelligence. The Bible says when they weighed them with every other person, they were how? Ten times better. They, they, they examined them with every, they were 10 times better. Now, when Joseph, in his own case, when he explained the dream to Pharaoh and told them what to do, you know what Pharaoh said? He said, where can we find anybody as wise and discreet like you? Children of God, please don't stop trying to be the best in whatever you are doing. Forget about the low class that are getting good jobs. Your time will come. I didn't hear your amen. Yeah. Read, study, be the best in your chosen field. Yes, we know that there are demonic people in systems in Nigeria now. Demonic people in, in several systems. Putting their own people in power. You know why they are doing what they are doing? They want to discourage you. To make you say, Pelugu, wait, Timoka, 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 Sunday, Bogu, better, me buy. It's just for the moment. You know, there are people like, say, hey, honey, I want to Sunday, but enjoy it. You don't worry. It's just for the moment. They are, all these people are rising under, under wind. If you build on wind, it will eventually collapse. But you just continue to build yourself. Work is gateway to the top. Our students, you continue to study to be the best. A time is going to come. Listen, they will tell them to come and defend that thing they have. That's where they will fail. Don't be discouraged. So many children of God are discouraged now. 
The pastor was telling me, he said, sir, pastor, I studied the word. I did evangelism. I prepare myself only to get to the church. The seats are empty. And you see them trooping to the place where the person will tell them. I wanted to eat this moimo yesterday. And God said, I should not eat it. That the destinies of men are tied to this moimo. And he cut his moimo into 200. And said, each person should come with 10,000. 10, Pastor, come and see crowd. I told him it's for a while. They will soon fade. While it looks as if they are raining, you just continue to equip yourself. The table will soon turn. Ah, you didn't catch it. I said the table will soon turn. Amen. And it will turn in your favor. Amen. Listen, whenever the devil does this thing, it is because he wants to make you feel that hard work is of no value. That's what the devil wants to make you feel. Hard work is of no value. Only value. But only it has. Look at the greatest companies we have in Nigeria now. They are companies that are sitting on real principles. As small as Suma, as Suma is, why is it still standing? It's not standing because there's a power of charm. Go and look at their principle. Don't let the devil make you feel that go through the shortcut and leave this thing because somebody discouraged you. I won't be discouraged. Say, I won't be discouraged. Because, listen, God is the one that rewards. I wrote here, please don't compromise. When you, when you see the less qualified gain more opportunities than the qualified. Please, don't do what? Don't compromise. Don't say after all, if I write the project self, they will not mark it. Let me just, well, let me go and bribe the man, Joe. Don't let them kill that in you. Be the best in your chosen field. Me, oh, Pastor Prince, I've, I've told myself, I want to be the best in my chosen field. I won't come to preach without preparation. It is the day that preparation will meet opportunity I don't know. But I'm going to make it part of my life that I will always prepare. I now said here in my writing to, to cap it up. Pray for God's intervention instead of getting discouraged. Pray for God's intervention. Now let's go to Daniel chapter 6. Look at when God decided to inter, interfer, intervene for Daniel. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1. I will show you something. Put it on screen for me. Shagada ba sekele maskendele. Rima soto ye gadaba. Daniel chapter 6 verse 1. From verse 1. It pleases Dairos to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors of whom Daniel was one that the satraps might give account to them so that the king would suffer no loss. Verse 3. Then this Daniel, look at this, distinguished himself. Daniel didn't compromise. He didn't join the others to say, well, this thing doesn't work. Let's look for shortcuts. All these Yahoo boys, what are they looking for? What are they doing? Shortcuts. Wait for me with this scripture. That's why you are here, you are young, you are into Yahoo. If you don't change, you will soon die. Yes. You will soon die. You know why you will die? You are running the race that is not your own. You want to, you want to meet up with the, stand, with, with, with the society when you are not yet ripe for it. Daniel didn't join them. The Bible said, then, then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and cetera because of what? An excellent spirit. Now, what's an excellent spirit? A, a spirit that makes you do all things well. I will do what is expected of me well. That's what was in Daniel. What's in him? And the king gave thoughts to setting him 
over the whole realm. Can you see? Because this man had an excellent spirit. He will cross his T. He will dot his I very well. That's the kind of pastor me to want to be. I believe in miracles, but I will do my part. Hear me. God will not do what you are supposed to do for you. When you do your part, he now bless your effort. Am I communicating? But for you to now say, ah, ah pastor, no, I, yeah, I will just go through the shortcut. That's what the devil wants you to do. Don't do it, please. Daniel eventually became the top. There's no time. Let's take the last one. I told you I only take three out of four. Number three. He at times want to attack your work spiritually so that you become discouraged. Now, this is where I will want us, I will lead us to pray some prayers this morning. Now, the third thing the devil does to want to kill your work attitude is to attack your work. Let's Kishele swear. And I will show you some of the things that you need to attack work. Does the devil attack people's work? Yes. He attacks work. You know why? So that you can become discouraged and say, I'm not, I'm not doing again. Me shemo. Me shemo that I can pay. Me shemo. Now, how does he attack work? Let's look at these things one after the other. He attacks work by steering competitors against you. Now, in every place of work, there are people that want to compete with you. Oshima Joe, no maferro. Oshima do any connoting rank. Oshima Joe, ni kolunta. Oshima Joe, no loja ju. There are competitors. Now, and these competitors, that was the same thing that happened to Daniel. If you are not a careful and a praying Christian, they can attack your work and frustrate your effort. That's why you need to be prayerful. In the office, I think I remember, it was not my school that was sharing with me how his father died. His father was working in UI. He was promoted in the place of work. Abi, you remember? He was pro pro promoted in, the, in his office. The day he, was to, he went to resume, as he sat down, on one resume, we share new, on the joke, we new office. She a new office, no joke, we share new office. He be not back home. Running from place to place, from place to place, from place to place, but she didn't be one till he died. That's why I pray for you. Everyone using evil power to compete with you in your place of work. May the Lord judge them. Every evil hand they lift up against you will go back to them in the name of Jesus. My wife will remember now. A woman came. He said, sir, I saw a man. I saw a signboard that you need somebody to work in your crutch. You remember that Igbo woman? As we were interviewing her, I said, mommy, why do you want to work in our crutch? He said, I once had a school. I said, he said, I want to add a school. I said, where? He said, at Ring Road. She mentioned the name of the school and I was shocked. Are you the owner of that school? He said, that school I folded up. He said, sir, they killed my only son. They attacked my only son. I didn't know that school business is spiritual. Ah. I said, there is no business that is not spiritual. Ah. Because the business is spiritual. I went to preach at the national oil market. And the, one of the traders told me, the day I came, they said, a woman, a woman came to the market very early with a coffin. Nobody could come closer to her. And she stood at the entrance of the market. She was baiting inside the coffin. She said, there is no business that is not spiritual. Oh, there to be a shoe. 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 Competitors. That's the first thing. Where our school is at a level, there's a school opposite. I used to lock my gates. 
We don't open the gates until someone, a teacher is there. Because we don't know. We met them then, but we are outgrowing them. Some people don't know the, your hard work. They don't know what you are putting to work that is making you to be on top. They just feel that you are a threat. You know, that was exactly what happened to, 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 to David. Because David was singing. David has killed his ten of thousands. Saul has killed one thousand thousand. And Saul, start, Saul started to keep a jealous eye on him. So everyone in business, understand this. Your first battle is battle with competitors. When they begin to praise you, they are angry. When everybody says, ah, she's doing well, he's doing well. Uh, uh, call her for me, call him for me. A pastor in Lokoja was kidnapped. When the police came into the matter, they caught the kidnappers. You know who paid them? Other churches around. <laughs> Pastors in the community said his church is great. He just came and his church is great more than our own. So they paid kidnappers to come and kidnap him. Thank God that police came in. They met them on the way and caught them. You know, they would have killed the pastor just like that. May you not fall to the hand of everyone competing with you. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let me tell you one more story. One more story. We wanted to, uh, to ask, uh, employ the help of a drummer. No, we didn't employ. We had a program and we told him to come and drum for us. I was telling the young man, that's about three years ago. But boy, you my day. He didn't stand up. Come and take the drumstick from this man. So after the service, I said, I instructed you to come and take the drumstick. You refuse. The man says, I won't do it. I said, what happened? He said, the church where I left to come and play here. That was how they employed me. And the pastor said, that's the drummer that is not cooperating. Go and take the drum. He said, I collected the drumstick, sir. He said, I finished playing for that service and my hand just hung like this. With drumstick in my hand, it couldn't come down. Not in the mosque, in the church. <laughs> so when it gets to this point listen there's attack on your work you need to pray 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 now the next kind of attack on people's work that we you should pray about is criticism from ignorant people you know why i call them ignorant people i won't go on because you look on that one that's about you need I was coming out of the estate a few days ago, and one of the parents said, Ah, Daddy, I was calling, I, I was trying to reach you, I couldn't reach you. I called one of your teachers, and the teacher said, eh, It's no longer in your school. I wanted to pass a message. The woman, I, was, I just shook my head. The woman, I just shook my head. You know, parents are so naive. You are tying the destiny of your children to one teacher. You don't know that school owners know what they are doing if they are changing teachers. I always tell them in our school, any teacher can go, the, curr the curriculum remains. The woman didn't know. He said, one year, he said, one year, law. Ah. You know, she, ah. Oh, my, you know, God of mercy. When she had, she calmed down. Don't, when people begin to criticize your work, don't keep quiet. Though. Pray. Then if you must talk, talk. If you must talk, talk. If you must address a meeting, address a meeting.
the woman was just going silently. She can do a laying of her. Oh, you want million? And two years, two years, and then you're in Jaume, you look low, yeah. And you look how my angel, oh, general. Can we go on? Another way. Now listen, this, this aspect of criticism, before we talk about the next one, I was just say the next one, we, we pray and close. This aspect of criticism, you need a lot of prayers. Do you get me? You need a lot of prayers. Because most times, you may not even hear some of the things they say about you. You may, you may not even know. That's why anywhere you are praying, be praying it. Don't pray for mercy over your critics. Lord, judge them. You know where I learned that? It was on TV, Joshua. I want to sorrow again. I have a problem. I have a church. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a Camera man, show them. Come and find the bullet. Because we can't see a number, Jay. Oh, we'll leave, Jay. And you know, Joe about to call it. He said, "Deliver me from the scourge of tongue." You know, when you parents complain, you know, I'm a, I'm a school now. I'm talking from experience. When you complain, do you know that in schools, they don't, in, in university, they don't have permanent lecturer? Or you, don't, you don't know? They don't have permanent lecturer. They don't have permanent lecturers. You think it's one lecturer that will lecture them? Another way that he attacks people's work is to plant strange staffs. Write that one down. Very, that one, they call them enemies from within. Tobati Shiu, Shishegba. Yellow Blue Jew. I want to pray for you here. Everybody be on your feet. Everybody be on your feet. Everyone that the devil has plant, planted around your life. What is happening? Me. Around your life. To cause you problem. To rob you of your God-given blessing. I pray in the name of Jesus as your pastor. May the Lord by fire bring separation between you and such a person. In the name of Jesus. Your labor will not be wasted. I say your labor will not be wasted. Amen. If there's anyone anywhere attacking your harvest, Tony Wakom and Shishekwe will May the Lord church them by fire in the name of Jesus. Book Bawan took Bashe, Roger. Atima for Renu Bashe. Everyone that has received the assignment. To be using the words of their mouth to destroy your good work. Ah, today I stand on the altar of the Lord and I decree, may the Lord shut them. Amen. I say, may the Lord shut them. Amen. I command the glory of your work to begin to manifest. Amen. I say, may the glory of, the, of your work begin to manifest. Oh, go shut you want to I say take it back in the name of Jesus. I decree everyone competing with you, reporting you from place to place. 
using evil, evil power to fight you. I decree in the name of Jesus, the Lord that gave Daniel victory over those competitors, begin to give you victory over them now in the name of Jesus. You will not enter their trap. I say you will not enter their trap. I say you will not enter their trap. As you walk, you will prosper. I pray that the blessing of God come upon your walk in the name of Jesus. I say as you work, you will prosper. Work will favor you. I say work will favor you. So it is. In Jesus' precious name, we are.